Half of all the water used in Denver goes to suburban landscaping, especially bluegrass lawns. In fact, we currently take the lion's share of the Fraser River in the Colorado headwaters, channel it under the Continental Divide through the Moffat Tunnel, and store it in Gross Reservoir for distribution to the Denver metro area and surrounding suburbs. But now, Denver Water proposes to divert even more water from the West Slope and store it in an expanded Gross Reservoir to promote another wave of urban growth, leaving less than 15% of the Fraser River flowing west. Do we really need to dry up the Colorado headwaters in order to keep bluegrass green? Surely we can find better ways to meet our water supply needs. Denver Water began pushing for an expansion of the existing Gross Dam and Reservoir in 2003. But a lot has changed in the water world over these last 10 years, especially with regard to conservation and reuse of municipal and agricultural water. We now have proven strategies to maximize water resources without building dams to dry up the Colorado River, strategies that may not have been obvious in 2003. A look at the timeline for the project quickly reveals just how many of the permits are still required, namely all of them. And each of these permits has a public input process, opportunities for us, the people of Colorado, to have a say. These public processes are opportunities for us to change the conversation toward a better water future. Let's make sure our political decision makers understand that there's more at stake here than lawns and growing suburbs. Let's make sure that conservation and water reuse are properly considered as realistic alternatives to massive construction projects from a bygone era. And let's work together to change the conversation from supply to conservation. Denver Water is right. We do need to make changes to meet our needs on the Colorado Front Range, but if we want to maintain our Western heritage, including agriculture, small communities, and trout streams, if we want our state to be habitable and enjoyable for the decades to come and the centuries that follow, that change has to come from us, the people of Colorado. Can you help save the Colorado River from becoming another landscaping reservoir? <laughs>